Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 29th through February 4th. This is a singles love reading. So if you're not single and you're not looking for love, then this reading is not for you. Alright, this may or may not resonate. Just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled, so there's some kind of release here. Perhaps there's been a commitment, you've been committed to something and maybe you're releasing it now. There's a feeling of following your own path, it's time, I'm, I've, it's really time for me to believe in myself. You may have been seeking guidance uh, for a while now, maybe you're going to counseling, um, but I see that there is some kind of release, alright? There's been a lack of emotional support in your life. And this is also regarding, this could have to do with institutions of some sort, okay? So this could do with school, it could do with um, court even. For some reason I'm thinking a court popped into my head. So this could have to do with authority as well. This is somebody that is um, here to teach you something in some way. This could be some kind of teacher, all right? There's been some kind of conflict in your life that has made you feel unloved, perhaps. And now you're seeking guidance, either it's from a counselor, maybe it's even your higher self, or a spiritual counselor, could be regular counselor, you know, a traditional counselor. This is seeking guidance as well. I need to release this. I can't I can't stay in this spot anymore, you know, because there's been too much conflict here. Yeah, somebody's releasing. What are, what are you releasing, Sagittarius? It's like there's a huge release. Maybe somebody's getting released from jail or something like that. I don't know. They're getting or maybe it's you're it's at the end of a, a schooling or I don't know. There is definitely or an end of a commitment, end of a marriage. Could be even a divorce you never know so there's some kind of dishonesty or untruth or something like that here somebody is not accepting the truth perhaps regarding love oh my gosh we got these three aces reversed okay so uh, you know i'm gonna zoom it in right now because this is pretty prominent okay oh, yeah i gotta zoom it in before i start talking because you know how i like to do that um Three aces, all reversed. Your thoughts become things. And you know, we've talked about this a lot. You are what you think, all right? And you are thinking negative. And if you think negative, then that's what you will be. And, you know, if you guys don't like my tone, then I suggest you don't watch me. My tone adjusts to the reading, and a lot of people don't understand that. I'm not the reader if you want it all prettied up. And um, if you want me to coddle you, that's not going to happen, okay? You're watching the wrong girl. My, my tone adjusts uh, to the reading. That's the way it is. With these three aces reversed, there's no new opportunities coming into your life. And you want to know whose finger you, who you can point at? Who can you point at? Nobody. Nobody. Okay? These cards tell me that you aren't manifesting change. You aren't thinking positively. With your thoughts become things. There's no new opportunities coming into your life until you flip every single one of these aces over. One, two, three. You have the power to manifest your reality. But you're going to keep cheating yourself until you do. All right? You need to release the thoughts. Maybe you need counseling. That's why this is here. Maybe you need spiritual counseling. Maybe you need a spiritual counselor. Maybe you need to trust in your higher guides. Maybe, I don't know. All right? These, this, this pull right here tells me that you need to release the negative and replace it with positive. And that's not me talking. Okay? These cards came out for a reason. It's, you know, the thing is, is there's a lot of loneliness here. And I see fear of grow, growing old alone. You know, you fear that you're going to grow old alone. And I think that's a pretty, you know, oh, what's the word for it? It's probable if you don't change your thoughts. And I'm sorry to tell you that. 
But if you don't start thinking positive, the glass is half full. Actually, the glass is full. Not half full in this case. The glass is full, not empty, right? Right? I think many of you are going through a midlife crisis and you have this huge fear of being let down. When it's really time for you not to look at it that way. Don't look at it like the world is going to let me down, so fuck it. If you look at it like that, then that's your thought and that's how it will be. If you look at it like I have opportunities in front of me, everything is going to work out, I just have to get through this, I can do it, then that's how it will be. But if you go outside today and you are looking around and you think that everybody is out to get you, then you are right. If you go out today and you think, you know what, this is great, I'm happy, I have good intentions, and I believe that you have good intentions too, then that's what will happen, okay? You seriously need to change your thoughts, all right? Because any, any anguish, depression, despair that you carry around with you, that's what owns you. It's time to release it. Release it. You may feel like you're the victim, okay? I feel like you're feeling mentally restless, like you're the victim here. That you're on the defensive, you're ready to fight at a moment's notice. You're probably overly emotional, like if you want to come after me, if somebody says one wrong word, you're ready for it, you're ready to go. Jump right down their throat. Oh yeah? Really? That kind of thing. Huh? Is that, what did you say? That kind of thing instead of just looking at it from a different perspective. There's no need to, to jump. You need to love yourself first, okay? You need to have gentle compassion with yourself and with others. When the Empress comes out reversed, it's, it's like you have so many options that you don't even see, okay? You really have to trust your instincts, but in a positive way. All right, there's lack of love for yourself. And it's really, really time to focus on you. Do some soul searching. And really, really get to know your inner side, your inner power, who you are. All right, use that silence that you need to have to become aware of who you are and what you want to be. Stop holding things in. Acknowledge your feelings and release them. It's time to bring back your confidence. It's time to bring back your self-respect. It's a time of self-respect, put it that way. You have so many choices in front of you. The options are endless here. This card also means what you own owns you. If you choose to live in that negative state of mind, then that's where you're going to live. The choice is up to you. <laughs> it's time for a do-over. It's time for you to start over. It's time for you to take a risk and be step into the unknown, someplace where you've never been before. Okay? You're really going to have to have faith in humanity in the world, in the future. It's time to have faith. So that the wheel can spin in your favor. So that you can have this change of course that you so deeply desire and want and deserve. It's time to stop deceiving yourself. It's like it's time to accept the truth. You may feel like you've been cheated, you've been robbed, you're the victim. You can change those thoughts, even if it's happened. It was destiny, it taught you something. I've learned from it, it's a time of renewal, it's a time of enlightenment. You know, you can change those thoughts, well, that's what I'm telling you. If you feel like you've been robbed, if you feel like you've been cheated, if you feel like you deserve more, it's not, I deserve more than this. It's a, I am going to have more than this. 
I'm going to go make more than this. I'm going to do something about it in a positive way. Instead of sitting back and moping and feeling like I can't move forward because the world is out to get me. All that's going to do is keep you unhappy. That's unenlightenment. It's time to become enlightened. It's time to relight the fire within you. All right, it's time to bring your passion back and th show the world the force. Show the world your passion. Show the world your strength, your confidence, your beauty. It's time to get creative, right? You've been probably dealing with somebody who's maybe narcissistic, ruthless, just concentrated on money and everything but love, okay? You've been dealing with somebody who, who didn't love you. And that's why you have this bitter feeling about you, you know, and you're feeling, maybe you feel like you're going to be alone forever. And I think a lot of you are feeling that way. You know, I'm just going to be alone forever because nobody's going to want me because I'm not good enough, blah, 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 blah. You know, the whole nine yards. And if you keep giving yourself that negative self-talk, then yeah. Those three aces say that's what you're manifesting. You're, you have the power to manifest here. Those three aces are reversed. And that negative self-talk will become your reality. You have the opportunity for new love. That's what that card says. You have the opportunity. But you could miss the opportunity because of your negative self-talk. You need to be grateful for how you how far you've come, all the lessons you've learned, and you need to use your creativity during this time to step outside of your comfort zone, to bring the faith about that you've never had before. You need to get creative to grow the faith within you. Faith is the fool underneath. Because you do have a new opportunity. You have this is an opportunity for growth, and that's what you need to look at it as. Instead of an opportunity, you know, instead of staying stuck in that mental space of I can't move forward, nobody wants me, I'm going to be lonely forever, you need to look at it as this is what, that was a lesson, I will grow from it, and it's time for me to expand. Luckily, we have one ace now that's upright, one out of four. It is a time of growth. Change your thoughts. Whatever has happened has taught you something. Think of it like that. It's a blessing in disguise that all that happened, whether you believe it or not. All the disruptions that you had, it was absolutely, absolutely a blessing in disguise. I said blessing in disguise before this card came out. And I'm telling you what. All of the experiences that you have been through, hard, good, bad, great, have brought you to where you are now. They've given you the growth that you needed. You're still growing. You're still expanding. You're blossoming right now. You have an opportunity for new love. Whatever has crashed recently, whatever disruption, upheaval, breakdown, however you want to see it, that has come about in your life, was a blessing in disguise. Trust me, it was. It was a false foundation. It needed to crumble because it needed to bring you growth. It happened to bring you growth. Where it, whatever it was, you know, it really didn't lead to your wish fulfillment even though you thought it did. It was ego driven. It fed your ego. Okay, whatever it was in your past, it fed your ego, but it wasn't meant to be forever. It wasn't. All right. And now you've been procrastinating and it was a test. And now you're not using your creative powers to create your own reality. You have the powers within you to create your own reality, but you're not using them. It's reversed. Okay. If you were to flip this card around, this would say, yes, I'm willing to shed the past. I'm willing to move forward. And I'm going to use every, every part of my being to do it. Came out reversed. If you are looking for a new life, you have the power to create it.
There is an opportunity for some of you to have new love come into your life, but you may miss that opportunity because of your negative thinking, okay? <laughs> oh, geez, and there's what I just said, okay? That's the Page of Cups reversed. There could be a new beginning, but because it's reversed, there's no new beginning because you're not in a space where you can accept it. Who wants to go up with a negative person anyway? Insecurities, conflicts, instability, not having faith. You have to have faith. If you have faith, in what's to come will be positive. Everything will change for you. You have to be practical. You have to be loyal to yourself, okay? You have to be responsible. You have to be dependable. And you have to be kind. And you have to let the past go. It's over. It's over. It's time for you to start your new journey. The fool is buried under here. It's time to start over. It's time to start your new beginning with faith. I might get you a spirit message. Faith that the world is not out to get you. Understanding that everything that has happened brought you growth. Admiration for yourself. I love myself. Let go. Let it go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all of the emotional constraints. This is your card. It just sums up my reading. It's amazing how this happens. I'm going to start it over. But remember, I started this reading out with release. It's the truth. This card came out. This is the sum up of the reading. Let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and the guidance of spirit as we have only the best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. That is the sum of your reading. Trust and have faith that the future is bright and it will be bright until you get do you're going to continue to struggle so please do it today start the process if you walk into the store I walked into the grocery store the other day and I was in line two, two people behind and I was watching the lady in front of me because you know that's what I do and she was paying, and the whole time she was pay, paying, she, her frown was so big. And it's like she, I don't, I think that the frown was stuck on her face. You know, it was just a, such a frown. And I just looked at her and I thought, my goodness, I'm so lucky that I smile. And I just thought, I mean, I was thinking, she must be a really unhappy person. She must be very, very unhappy. Smile. Smile. Talk to you later.